Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are here playing F1 2019. Uh, the first video I'm recording after the season ended, or after the end of the season's like been a thing for a couple days. Uh, so here we are, and uh, we're doing the only team that we did not race during the actual season. Uh, we did a Mercedes, a couple videos of that, Ferrari, a bunch with Red Bull, did McLaren, Renault the other day. Toro Rosso, did one with Alfa Romeo recently, did one with Williams back a few months ago. Uh, the other team we didn't do was Racing Point. I don't think I missed the team when I was listing that off either. So here we are. The last team that we're going to drive, uh, the last team that we haven't done anything with yet, is Racing Point. So I figured, why not uh, do a video now with Racing Point and... Yeah, that'd be fun. I don't know. We're racing as Sergio Perez. Um, yeah. I'd definitely rather race as Sergio Perez than Lance Stroll. That's for sure. Lance Stroll's one of those people who are just there because they have money. And I find that obnoxious. I'm not sure there are plenty of other drivers that race because they have money, but he's like the most. Well, he's the worst probably of all of them. That's the thing. He's probably the worst of all the drivers with a lot of money to help their career be a thing. Uh, we're here racing on uh, Circuit of the America Short layout as well and it looks like we're going to qualify in third so not a bad performance outperforming with what car we have that is for sure oh I didn't say Haas earlier we did one with Haas as well at uh, America earlier in the year uh, we did a bunch Probably around return to summer, I think we did a bunch of those other ones. I don't know. Either way. We are here. Circuit of the Americas. Shorter track layout. When the lights go out, we're going to launch and go. What an absolutely terrible start that was. Okay, wow. Threw that into the corner and just absolutely demolished my chances to win. <sighs> got Bottas, Verstappen, and Hamilton. We got Leclerc right there behind us. See what we can do. We can probably get Hamilton here. So they pushed his back tires enough to keep him out of the way. But is there no DRS zone on this track? Uh, no, there actually isn't. Hmm. Because the DRS zones, the Circuit of the Americas, are the long straight into the hairpin and the straight after that turns. And they're both cut out. On the short circuit. Interesting. I think this is the only track in this game that you can race without DRS. Or you can just race Abu Dhabi for the first 18 laps. Oh god. No, I hit into Badass and... <sighs> Damage that front wing. This car doesn't have brakes, I guess. Doesn't have great brakes. We can get by Verstappen here, maybe. No. We tried it though. Got by him after. Go. 
going by, uh... Trying to get by Bottas, who actually won this race this year. I think everybody forgets that. Kind of, like, forgotten that he won that race, because... Hamilton won the championship at this track, and everybody kind of just... I actually talked about that. Uh, damage my front wing again. God damn it. And broke my tire. Fantastic. I'm excited for next year's game, though. I'm really excited to try some new tracks. Two new ones. That's going to be so much fun. Try to add uh, those tracks to my win list. Do we want all 21 tracks in this game? And then uh, Malaysia in F1 2016. I didn't win Monaco in F1 2019. I won in F1 2016, but I've won every track that is raceable in this, I guess you could say. It's kind of the point I'm trying to make. DRS is enabled. Not like there's really DRS zones on the track, but... No, actually, the long straights, the, the main straights got DRS. I forgot that. This track has three. Never mind. My statement about being the only track you can not use DRS on is inaccurate. There is one DRS zone. But yeah, racing the Netherlands and racing Vietnam, I'm really excited about that. Especially the Netherlands. That track looks like it's going to be fun to drive. Vietnam could be cool, I don't know. I guess I'll have to wait and see, but... I just hope they come with a bunch of, uh... new things to add to the game, and... add a bunch of cool things, especially for, like, the career mode. That's, I think, something that you can add more to and make it really fun. God, Verstappen's right there. This is the straight with DRS on it, so that's why he was able to gain on me so much. Take it through these turns here. We can get by Verstappen again in this corner. Burn extra fuel. Got it. You know, I got two racing videos going up this week. We did Gran Turismo earlier in the week. And I kind of just stayed in second the entire time. And so far here in F1 2019, I've stayed in second the whole time. I don't know what's going on with that today. One recording segment, of course, that's why I said today. God, that DRS is so strong. Especially when you're in a slower car and you don't have it. A racing point isn't meant to... Try to go up against the Red Bull. I'm trying to make it work. I'm trying to catch a Mercedes. I think this thing's got a Mercedes engine in it, though. I don't know. Does it? I think it's a Mercedes team. So tell me what to fucking do, loser. Shut up, boomer. Oh, no. Damage the front wing, calling him a boomer. We got Bottas right here, though. We should, if we can stay close to him like we have, get DRS down that long straight. Coming to the detection zone, we should only be half a second behind him. 
Yes. Need a good exit here, though. DRS is open. We don't have to worry about Verstappen this time. We don't have to worry about trying to pass Bottas. Can we get him here? Oh, we hit. Some piece fell off of a car. Then that was off the front end of his car. We barely have energy to deploy as well. But we're making it through this turn. Finally got the lead lap 6 of 14. Corner cutting. Fuck off! It would be cool if they brought into the uh, next game more short track configurations like we got here. I know Austria has one. It's in Gran Turismo Sport. That could be cool. Uh, it'd be a lot shorter than the track is now. It'd be like a 30 second lap. It'd be kind of like doing uh, Japan. How short that circuit is, the short circuit of Japan. It'd be that similar situation. Just such a short bit in uh, Austria. What other one would be fun to do? I don't know. I'm sure there's. I'm sure most tracks have a shorter configuration besides like Monaco. Well, Monaco has the Formula E circuit. I've seen that in a highlight before. But I don't know about Azerbaijan. I think that may just have its own layout. And Singapore and probably Vietnam would not have a different layout either. But there's a couple tracks that they could do a different layout of. And I'm trying to think maybe Australia doesn't either. But here's the thing. I know Austria does. I don't know what other ones do though. Brazil, I think, has different layouts. France has got like a million different layouts. Um, Japan's already got one in the game. Uh, maybe Abu Dhabi has a different layout. I don't know. They got like a million little things all over that track too. So I'm pitting this lap then. All right, prepare to box lap eight of 14. We're somehow in the lead of this thing. Doing just enough to keep Verstappen and Bottas behind us. And now Leclerc and Hamilton and Vettel and Albon. They're all kind of caught up there. It's a group of the six Fast cars in the field, and then me in the lead. Go wide there, because I just don't have the brake abilities on this car. I don't know why, but I just don't. Alright, here we go. We're going to box here. Brake hard. Make sure we make that turn. Hamilton and Leclerc are in as well. It's going to leave Verstappen, Bottas, Vettel, and Albon as the top drivers out there on the track still. Pit stop, my time to take a sip of my drink. Alright, here we go, out of the pits. 22 second pit stop. We're going to come out here in 13th with Hamilton and Leclerc right behind. Some other cars finish of the pit stop. Looks like a McLaren and a Toro Rosso as well. So most, I think every car in front of me should probably have to pit, I'm assuming. 
uh, considering I was the first car in the field. Just how much time can we make up here on our mediums compared to the time that... That's a penalty, really? Compared to the time that Verstappen and Bottas are making at the front of the field. What am I going to make up here behind Antonio Giovinazzi? Like, I don't know. kind of just stuck behind him. There's really no way past. I don't want to like, as I said it, or as I was going to say it, damage my front wing trying to pass him. and He was all over the track. He's cutting back and forth. I get the AI going like the racing line. I'm trying to find my way around and the racing line just cuts over to here where I'm trying to pass him, basically. If I just stay here, the racing line opens up there. We get back by him cut around he's gonna pit anyways no he will not but I was behind him at the DRS zone Lance strolls in for his pits in for his pits into the pits for his stop we're gonna pass Leclerc Bottas as they pit we got Ricardo in front Giovinazzi behind Verstappen and Albon still staying out. Some weird Red Bull strategy here. Being played out. Gonna pass Ricardo as we see confirmation Albon is the second driver there in the field. You gotta think that they'll bring Verstappen in first? I don't know. Hamilton came in first for Mercedes. And the game likes to bring in the main driver first. I don't even know who the main driver for Racing Point is. You'd think it'd be Lance Stroll because Dad owns the team, but Perez was listed first in the game on the car selection screens. I'm not sure. Ricardo's first for... Uh, Renault, though, so. Who knows? Verstappen does come out in front of me on hard tires, so I do have a little bit more speed built up on my tires before he can get really going. I got more heat built up, I should say. But he will be behind us, and he should be able to run a little bit longer. His last few laps. Like a way wide on the grass, but he still stays there behind me. It just comes down to what Albon does. Does Alex Albon get out of the pits in front of me or behind me? My question is what happened to Bottas. He got absolutely destroyed with that strategy. That was employed by his team. We're going to round the turn as Albon's coming out of his box. It's going to be close if Albon's actually going to get out with us or not. Albon does not. He's right behind. He should be probably fourth, I'm assuming. He'll be right in the mix of it, though. Verstappen does have DRS going up this hill. Gonna break here. It's Verstappen, myself, Hamilton, and Albon. The top four. Verstappen got pushed a little bit wide there by my unique driving style. Oh god. We gotta save fuel. The game didn't tell me, hey, you're 
using up all your fuel. And I should have been more on top of it. I kind of forgot that I switched it, but better run lean here for a lap or two. Got the slowest fuel mix now with a slower car in front of top tier equipment. We got a Red Bull, Mercedes, another Red Bull, and then a Ferrari right behind. Then another Ferrari, and then another Mercedes. I'm not so worried about the Ferraris. They'll inevitably mess up a strategy somehow, even though the pit stops are over, and probably crash into each other. But, the Red Bull and the Mercedes are something I'm concerned about. Especially as Verstappen's going to wind this car up with DRS here. I'm going to have to go to Rich Fuel. Just try to stay ahead of him. On that straight with DRS, I have to use Rich Fuel. The rest of the way around, I can sort of just stay on lean, save a little bit. But when we come to that straight, it has to be the Rich Fuel. We only have really concern about one more big passing zone, but we'll see. We will see what happens with the one big passing zone. Because that DRS straight should provide an opportunity for an overtake. But the key is to have the lead here. If we have the lead going into this turn in the next lap, I feel confident in our chances to win. There's just no way that the other cars will be able to out-accelerate me on that last like little bit. It's the long straights that are concerns to me. We're going to go back to standard fuel mode. We saved enough. We have just enough to make it this lap, I believe. Hamilton behind, followed by Verstappen and Albon. Just a little bit more to go here. Just a slight few turns and we will be through to a victory here with a racing point. Not something I thought I'd be saying. That is for sure. Just a little bit more to go though. One more big worrying straight. Turn up to rich fuel mode. For the last turn, Hamilton will not be able to get by us. He just won't have enough acceleration. And we made it. Awesome win. Yes. That's awesome. That is what I wanted right there. Awesome win. There's a win at the United States Grand Prix as we've raced with every single team now. I don't think there's many teams we've actually won with, though. Maybe this is like the fifth team we've won with? I don't know. I don't remember what we won with the other ones. We didn't win with Renault, and I don't think we won with Haas. We didn't win with Alfa Romeo either. Either way. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next one.